Yeah. Yeah, I reckon you're probably perfect to you. Yeah. I'm gonna be on the side if you just look straight down that bro. Yeah. Liam Paro back on home soil, mate. What an amazing effort. How does it feel? Mate, still sinking in, you know. Um, big shout out to everyone here showing the support. Really humbling, you know, it's um, a proud Aussie and flying the Australian flag on the international scene really means a lot to me and man, I, I'm just proved the world what we already knew, so yeah. Family and friends have been here, they've waited at the airport. Did that shock you, the ovation that you just received? Uh, look, I knew it was going to get a turnout, but this was uh, truly humbling, yeah, and I appreciate everyone for coming out. It really means a lot to me and yeah, it's, it's a good feeling to come home as a champion. How does it feel? It's been now 10 days since that amazing triumph over there. Has it really sunk in for you and your team what you've just achieved? Um, look, it slowly is. Each day it's sinking in more and more, but it's still very surreal, you know, just the magnitude of it all. You know, we went into the lion's den. We knew the task ahead, but like I said, I'm a fighter. I fight, and um, I fight anyone, anywhere, anytime, and that's what I do. I'm proving that. I've got that old school mentality, and um, yeah, man, it's numbers don't lie. I'm 25 and 0 now, the world's more oyster. And, I'm ready to collect more belts. You're a proud Queenslander. What does it mean for you in the future? And what do you want to do next as the world champion? Do you want to bring a big world title back? 100%. Home? We've been on the road. We've been road warriors for the last few years now. You know, it's just worldwide. But now the Australian fans deserve the big fights. And I've got a, I've got a belt now. I've got the pulling power to bring the big fights to Australia. And the diehard fans, I'm a, I'm a I'm proud Queenslander. So we're going to bring the big fights here for sure. Uh, Liam, obviously Devin said he wanted to take a year away from the sport. But do you think that you're a big enough Look, we'll just we'll keep in our lane, but anyone can get it. Like I said, I've said that right from the start. Anyone can get it. Ryan Garcia, after his year off, he called me out. I'll still take him. I don't care. You know, I want everyone, and I'll keep proving that I can beat everyone. I'm doing that. Like I said, done that 25 times, and I'll continue to do it my whole career. And what about 10,000 people in Mackay? Man, I'd love to bring a big fight to Mackay, 100%. Liam Parra, your international promoter, yesterday threw the fishing line out. He wants to do Parra versus Haney. Devon then came over the top of Eddie Hearn and said, he's open to come down under, he's been here before. What's your reaction to your international promoter and your message to Devon Hayden? 100%, let's get it on. Get your, get your head right, get everything right, and bring a big fight to Australia. I'm, I'm, I guarantee you'll be a different outcome when you come this time, though. Back to the fight, man. You set me up with the car line, and you said, I told you to dig deep. What was going on for your head at that exact moment? Look, we knew we were in a fight, but, um, man, I've, I'm just a product of his hard work, you know, and, um, He's the, he's the man for it, and he's proved 25 times. And um, look, it's people like that you need in the corner to keep you level-headed. It's, it's a high-stakes fight, and you know he'll get me through anything. You know, if Alf tells me to run through a brick wall, I'll just say how hard. You know, so we've got a good relationship. Yeah. Look, it was it was crazy. But at the end of the day, you know, everyone said that he, he's not a robot. You know, he's a human. He breathes the same air, bleeds the same blood, and that's the mentality I have. And you know, I'm not going to be scared of another person. You know, uh, he can get hurt, so can I. And I just proved that these people are, it's all hype and the media just pumps them up to be people they're not. You know, we had a good game plan and we executed that perfectly. And I did the job pretty convincingly in his backyard. No one wanted to fight this guy. Everyone was avoiding him and we just proved we'll fight anyone and beat anyone. You went to the Bahamas for eight more days, straight back to Vegas where you've done some grueling training camps. Yeah, 100%. We've got to keep the ball rolling. You know, I want to keep busy. I'm the happiest when I'm training. And, um, yeah, man, I just want to bring the big fights. I want to have a five quick turnaround, a big fight in Australia before the year's up. Yeah, well, Liam, anyone can have an opportunity, but it's up to the individuals to obviously take your choice there. You've been ready for a world title. You've obviously been 29 years. What's it mean? So, the moment you've heard the words, man, you, like, just what? Oh. Just, like, trying to explain Still sinking in, it's, it's hard to put into words, you know, but I think just, like you said, I've had world title contention since 2019, but I don't think you write the script any better. The way we won that title was, it's going to go around the history books forever. And um, that truly makes me proud to, to be able to do that and achieve that. And look, God has a plan and his timings never, never misses. So I'm just rolling with the punches. Yeah, like I said, I'm just keen to get in, into camp for the next big fight. The last one for me, for all the people that were showing you a little love, 
No, I just big love to everyone in Team Pyro. You know, it's Pyro time now, and we're part of this Pyro army. We're just going to ride and keep riding this wave at the top, and we, yeah, we smell the roses at the top now. Sweet. All right. Thank you.